from the mayor's office and they describe it as encouraging. Some tests that have come back have shown no arsenic in the water. However, they are still waiting for more test results. So they are urging residents here not to drink it and not to cook with it. They're continuing to provide water for these residents. And I have to tell you, it's going on five days and residents are really getting fed up. Residents living in NYCHA's Jacob Reese houses still can't drink the water here until the city gets more test results back. In the meantime, the city is providing running water in outdoor sinks like these and giving away bottled water. The emergency measures coming after tests showed arsenic contamination in some water samples. Aliyah Benjamin lives here with her three children, two-month-old Sierra, one-year-old Cortez, and three-year-old Shiloh. Are you concerned about the health of your baby? Yeah. How come? Um, because I don't know how long it was like this. Before you found out? Yeah. Got we it. just found out Friday. A spokesperson for Mayor Adams now telling Fox 5 that, quote, all original water delivery points that were previously thought to test positive for arsenic have been retested and have now been found to be negative. Still, the mayor's office wants residents here to keep drinking bottled water until even more test results come back. This is just one more example of NYCHA residents being subjected to unacceptable conditions. The mere, the absolute minimum that everyone should be entitled to is certainty that their drinking water is safe. Mark Levine is the Manhattan Borough President. The short term, we need to give this water a clean bill of health, and then we have serious questions to answer so that we can rebuild trust with the residents of Reese Houses and citywide among NYCHA residents. Public advocate Jumani Williams also wants more answers. I think there's, there's a lot of questions that need to be answered. Um, I think NYCHA has a lot of questions that need to be answered. And of course, the mayor and administration uh, is going to have to uh, respond as well. I'm hoping that we can quickly get past where we are now, uh, get all of the test results. So speaking of those test results, the city tested or telling us tonight that they tested more than 140 samples. Some of those have come back and the good news is they didn't find arsenic in those samples, but they're still waiting for many more. And until that happens and they can declare the water here completely safe, again, they want the residents to continue to cook and not cook with the water and not drink the water to come down here outside and pick up water bottles. And as you can see, also use the sinks that they've provided out here.